The Impressa F7 from Jura Capresso is a state-of-the-art, super automatic coffee center with user-friendly operating buttons. With its new stainless steel lined thermoblock system, it produces coffees and froths milk without downtime or purging. The Impressa F7 brews crema coffees, espressos, lattes, cafe mocha lattes, and cappuccinos. Make one or two cups at a time, fresher than in a coffee bar. Just push a button and the F7 grinds, tamps, brews, and cleans up in less than a minute. It's that easy. The bright LED dialog system displays easy to understand instructions and shows you the strength and size of coffee you're brewing. And just about any size cup will work with your F7. You can move the heavy duty die cast spout up and down to accommodate large and small cups. You can also place two cups underneath it. The F7 has a built-in commercial conical steel burr grinder, automatic cleaning cycles, and the unique Clearal water filtration system, which purifies the water and eliminates decalcification. Its patented dual frother plus allows you to both steam and froth milk right in your cup or into a pitcher for multiple lattes or cappuccinos. With its easy to use controls, its elegant proportions, and cup illumination, the F7 is the ideal coffee center for home use or small offices. It's safe to leave the F7 on all day. Whenever you feel like a cup of coffee, simply press the button. The Impressa F7, if you love coffee. Follow these quick steps when setting up your F7 for the first time, or when you set up after clearing your machine for storage or transport. Start by pouring fresh, cold water into the water tank and filling the bean container with whole beans. You may find traces of ground coffee in your new machine. This is normal. In order to correctly calibrate the burr grinder, coffee beans have been ground by your machine in the factory. Now let's turn your F7 on. The LED display will read, Open Tap. Place a cup underneath the frother and turn the selector to the water symbol. As water begins pumping through the frother, the display will read system filling. It's important to remember that the Clearill water filter should not be installed before or during the initial setup. Small grains from the filter may cause blockage inside your machine. The filter installation is shown later in the video. When the water automatically stops, the display will read Close Tap. Just turn the selector to the cup symbol while your machine heats. The display will read System Filling and then Heating. Once your F7 is fully heated, the display will ask you to run a rinse cycle. Place a cup underneath the coffee spout and press the rinse button. This will run a quick rinse cycle that will clean and warm all internal parts. When you see ready, press the one cup button. Your F7 will begin grinding and brewing coffee. When using the machine for the very first time, we recommend grinding and brewing two cups and discarding them. This will remove any possible dust inside the machine and will assure the grinder dispenses the correct amount of coffee. Let's look at how easy it is to make coffee with your F7. When you turn on the F7 in the morning, the display will tell you that it's heating. Once warmed, it will ask you to run a rinse cycle. Press the rinse button and run a quick hot water cycle that cleans and warms all internal parts. Ready indicates that you can now make coffee, espresso drinks, or tea. The F7 allows you to choose both the cup size and strength of your coffee. Push the dial and the display will show you the cup size. In this case, the cup size is set at four ounces. To change the cup size, simply turn the rotary dial. You can change the coffee volume from one up to a full eight ounces. For each sized cup, there are three strength options, mild, normal, and strong. Start making coffee by pushing the one cup button. The display shows mild. To change the coffee strength, push the one cup button once more for normal and again for strong. 
When you choose strong, the F7 will grind approximately 50% more coffee per cup than in the mild position. Here, we're making a four ounce coffee strong. The F7 always brews in two steps. First, it infuses some hot water into the coffee, pauses for a few seconds, and then continues brewing. This two-step brewing process brings out the maximum flavor. Now let's try a short two-ounce espresso, normal. Push the dial, set the cup size to two ounce, and push the one cup button twice. It's that easy. By the way, the F7 will always keep the last cup size stored. Here's a quick tip. As long as the background of the dial is illuminated during brewing, you can still change the cup size simply by turning the dial. This comes in handy when you push the one cup button before setting the cup size. But please remember that the tray should not be removed at any stage of the brewing process. Removing the tray can seriously damage your machine. Always wait until the display shows ready to remove the tray. Using the two cup button allows you to make twice as much coffee as indicated by the cup size. Here, we are making two two ounce espressos. The grinder will automatically grind the maximum amount of coffee. The F7 works like commercial coffee espresso machines. It brews coffee under high pressure. This is what the majority of coffee experts feel is the best system for producing maximum flavor and aroma. The fine foamy layer on the top, called crema, is the trademark of pressure brewed coffee. The crema is what traps the fine aromatics and the light gaseous flavors that register on the palate. You may want to change the grinder to a finer or coarser setting. With dark oily beans, we recommend you grind in a somewhat coarser setting to avoid over extraction. With most beans, a medium grind will produce the thickest crema. A quick reminder, adjustments to the grinder setting can only be made while the machine is grinding. Perhaps you have regular beans in your F7 bean container, but somebody would like a cup of decaf. You can use this funnel for pre-ground coffee, bypassing the grinder. Open the funnel lid. The F7 automatically disengages the grinder and the display shows fill powder. Just fill a maximum of two scoops of ground coffee into the funnel. Then close the lid. The display will read select cup button. Let's push the one cup button and the F7 tamps and brews the pre-ground coffee. While the knob is still illuminated, you can still change the cup size. In this case, from two ounces to four ounces. This is also a great way to use flavored coffees. Flavored or coated beans should not be used in the grinder. The coating will eventually clog up the grinder. Have your flavored and coated beans pre-ground at a medium espresso fineness. The Impressa F7 produces delicious lattes and cappuccinos. To make drinks with milk, you need to begin by pressing the steam button. The display shows heating as your F7's internal temperature increases to produce steam. Your F7 comes equipped with the Dual Frother Plus. It's a frothing wand that has two positions. With the sleeve up, the milk is steamed and heated without creating froth. This is ideal for latte. With the sleeve down, air and steam are pushed into the milk and froth forms on top while the milk is heated. Hot froth milk is used to create wonderful cappuccinos. In less than 30 seconds, your F7 will read steam ready. Immerse the frother into your cup with milk and turn the selector to the water symbol. The display shows you how long steam will be created. In this case, 60 seconds. To change the steam duration, again, use the dial. You can select up to 120 seconds. We suggest that you steam the milk first with the sleeve in the up position. Then, as the milk warms, push the sleeve down to create perfect froth. By warming the milk before frothing, you assure that your froth is warm. After the pre-selected time for steaming has lapsed, the frother will stop automatically and the display will read, close tap. Turn the selector back to the cup symbol. 
You can also stop the flow of steam at any time by simply returning the selector to the cup symbol. Remember, after steaming and frothing, you can immediately brew coffee without waiting. With your F7, there's no waiting or downtime. Here we have one cup of hot steamed and one cup of hot frothed milk. Now add a healthy shot of double espresso. And you've created a latte and a cappuccino at the same time. Clean the frother after use to prevent milk from getting sour inside the frother. It's fast and simple. Place a cup underneath the frother and open the tap for a few seconds. This pushes out any remaining milk residue. With a wet paper towel, simply wipe the frother sleeve, like so. If you use the frother often for multiple cappuccinos or lattes, we highly recommend the Froth Express Plus system, a fast, efficient, automatic frothing device. This system is available separately. Here's how it works. Remove the dual frother plus. First, let it cool. Then turn the connector a few times and pull down. Now assemble the milk container. Please see the instruction manual for details. Because this system siphons milk to mix with hot steam, it's important that the parts connect tightly, creating a seal. Now attach the Froth Express Plus system. When replacing the frother, make sure it sits tight with the chrome sleeve, like so. Then attach the Froth Express Plus system to the milk container. Remember, for best results, use low-fat or skim milk. Do not use half-and-half half or cream. The Froth Express Plus dial has three positions for heating milk. The frothing position heats and froths the milk, and the steaming position heats without frothing. The center position on the dial is for steam only and completely blocks the flow of milk. Whether frothing or steaming, the milk can be made warmer by turning the knob toward this center position. This increases the portion of steam and decreases the flow of milk. To begin using the assembled Froth Express Plus, press the steam button and wait for the display to read Steam Ready. For steaming and frothing, turn the dial up. Place a cup beneath the frother and turn the selector switch to the water position. For 20 seconds, milk will be drawn from the container. The milk is heated by steam and mixed with warmed air. Frothing milk has never been easier. For steaming without frothing, turn the dial down. Again, turn the selector switch to the water position. For 20 seconds, milk from the container will be drawn into your F7 and be heated by steam. Remember, if you want to increase the temperature of the milk, move the dial closer to the center position. Now we add a strong shot of espresso to each cup using the two cup button. A perfect latte on the right using steamed milk and a frothy cappuccino on the left. It's easy to clean the Froth Express Plus. The milk container and siphoning tubes may be rinsed in the sink under warm running water. And just drop the nozzle and dial into a bowl of warm water drawn from the hot water tap to immediately release the milk remaining inside. Your F7 also dispenses hot water for tea or a cup of soup. Turn the selector to the water symbol. The LED readout will tell you its current portion size, in this case, four ounces. To change the hot water portion, simply turn the rotary dial to select from one to 16 ounces of hot water. While hot water is being dispensed into your cup, the display will read water. Your F7 will remind you to close tap by returning the selector to the cup symbol. This is also great for adding hot water to espresso to make an Americano. Now that we've seen how the F7 works, let's look at how you can customize it to your preferences. Begin by pushing and holding the P, or programming button, until the display shows filter, indicating that you are in programming mode. Let's take a look at the programmable functions one by one. First, there's filter. 
We'll be installing the clear oil filter later and we'll change this setting to yes. Next, there's hardness. One is for soft and four is for very hard water. If you don't use the clear oil filter, you'll need to set your F7 for the hardness of your water. For details, see the instruction manual. The aroma function is a strength multiplier for all cup buttons. There are two temperature settings. In high, your coffee is about seven degrees Fahrenheit hotter than in normal. You can also set the time of day and then program unit on, which tells the machine when to turn itself on automatically. This auto off function lets you decide how many hours after last use your machine should wait before shutting off automatically. Here, you can even see how many cups your machine has made with the one cup, the two cup, and the ground coffee funnel. And your F7 can be set to any of seven languages. The display function lets you decide if you want to see the cup size in milliliters or ounces, and the time in AM, PM, or military mode, whichever you prefer. With the F7, you can truly make the best pressure brewed coffee your way. The instruction manual explains in detail how to change each function. Let's change the aroma setting. Begin by pushing and holding the P button until the display shows filter. Then turn the dial until the display shows aroma. Push the dial. This stops the scrolling between functions. The display shows robust. In the robust setting, rather than standard, the grinder will grind for all selections one second longer than in the standard setting, making all your coffee choices a bit stronger. Now turn the dial and the display will change between robust and standard. Let's choose standard. Confirm your new selection by pushing the dial. The machine returns to aroma. Now simply press P again to exit programming and return to making hot drinks. The display will read, ready. Using a clear oil cartridge improves your water quality by taking out calcium, chlorine, and other unwanted elements just before brewing. It also makes decalcifying the F7 obsolete. Let's take a quick moment to install and activate the clear oil water filter. Once the filter has been removed from the bag and rinsed under running water, Push it tightly into place and return the water tank to the machine. Make sure the water tank is full. Then place a 20 ounce container under the frother. Push and hold the P button until the display shows filter. Push the dial and the display will read no. Turn the dial until the display shows yes and push the dial to confirm. The display shows insert open tap. As we've already inserted the filter into the water tank, we just turn the selector to the water symbol. The display will read filter rinsing. For the next 90 seconds, water will be pumped through the filter and out through the frother. Please don't interrupt the water flow during the filter activation process. In order to initialize properly, the filter rinsing must run a complete cycle. When the filter has completed the rinse cycle, your F7 will stop automatically and the display shows close tap. Turn the selector back to the cup symbol. Your F7 will now heat up and the display will read ready. The machine will remind you automatically when it's time to replace the filter. For details, see the instruction book. A powerful memory chip in the F7 monitors all functions to keep the machine in good working order, and its display reminds you when it's time to clean the machine. It also automatically monitors the water tank and the used coffee grounds. When the display reads fill water, refill the water tank. Don't worry about the tank running completely dry. It will always keep a reserve of approximately six ounces of water. After 16 cups of coffee, your F7 will automatically prompt you to empty the grounds. The overflow tray, along with the used grounds container, slide out easily and can be emptied and rinsed with warm water. Please remember to empty the grounds container every time you remove the tray. Simply replace the tray and your machine is ready again. The F7 also monitors the internal brewing chamber and tamping area. 
After 200 cups of coffee, it will remind you to run a short tablet cleaning cycle to remove coffee oil buildup in those areas. You can find details in the instruction book. Jura Capresso's Impressa F7 makes your coffees the way you want them. It's smart, user-friendly, and brews all your coffee drinks perfectly every time. It's the perfect system, perfect taste. Should you have any further questions regarding your F7's use and care, please see your local Jura Capresso dealer or contact the Jura Capresso Customer Service Department at 1-800-220-5701 or ask your questions online at contact at capresso.com. You can also visit our website for additional product information. We are located at www.capresso.com.